going about our world, going about our day, we hear things and unconsciously we make meaning out of the way people speak. No dialect is better than the other. In terms of linguistic validity, all dialects are equal. However, society imposes preferences and hierarchies over different dialects. It can be an insight into culture. One of my main areas of research has looked at Ecuadorian Spanish. There hasn't been a lot of research done on this variety, and it's a very rich sociolinguistic landscape. For example, the word house, casa. We have this variation in Ecuadorian Spanish where it could be casa or casa pronounced as or z, playing audio files for speakers and asking them to evaluate, well, how old do you think this person is? Where do you think they might be from? What do you think their level of education might be? To give an example in English, we have a lot of students here from Chicago, right? And they say they're ah, like this. But with this feature in Ecuadorian Spanish, it's under the level of consciousness. They change their perceptions of someone, but it's not something that they can point out like we can point out. People from Chicago have this balance. So it can tell us a lot about how the brain works in some sense, how linguistic features change over time to bring it into the classroom by talking about linguistic diversity and the importance of that. All dialects are equally beautiful, they're equally valid. Doing community-based research at a place like SLU where we appreciate and value all people, that means appreciating everyone's way of speaking as well.